So this little clip looks nice and everything, but I'm sure you're all wondering if the puzzle is really working and if it is, how I did that. So let's take a step back and take a look at how this all came along. This is the building process of a Rubik's Cube completely out of carrots. Here we are again, right at the beginning. So far, these are just 5 regular carrots. Now, let's start to transform this into something amazing. I'm starting with the centers here, and there was already the first problem. With a regular 3x3, you can see here that the centers can turn around the 6 axes. But with carrots, that would be incredibly hard, so I had to do something about that. See, if I round off the centers so that the pieces can just rotate around it, the centers can be fixed to the axes and don't have to move. So this is what I did. I just took this square center piece and made it circular. Now, in theory, the puzzle should look like this in the end. Let's see how I can do this in practice. The centers were too hard once I had a plan on how to build them. This is one of them and shortly after all six of them were completed and attached to each other, so the core is done now. The remaining pieces are now the edges and the corners. These look pretty much like with a regular Rubik's Cube, so it can't be that hard, can it? Well, my working material is still carrots, so basically everything is difficult here. On top of that, I really had to hurry, because once the carrots were cut into pieces, they started to get softer and much more unstable. To help with this, I always put the pieces I wasn't currently working on into the fridge. I was hoping to extend the period during which the pieces are actually usable like this. But in the end, I got all of the pieces done and here are now all 21 parts that this Rubik's Cube consists of. This is the moment of truth. Once the puzzle is assembled, we will see whether or not this cube will actually work properly. Here we are. The puzzle doesn't fall apart on its own. That's the first good sign. Now let's try to move the layers and here we go, it already broke. I guess it's back to carving out better pieces then. Piece by piece I searched for the worst looking pieces and replaced them with new ones until the puzzle worked better. So, after some more time and a few additional carrots, I was able to assemble this puzzle once more and this time it worked a lot better. Here you can see that the puzzle actually turns. I gotta admit, the turns aren't very smooth, but I'm happy for now. I'm pretty sure that I can now say that this is the world's first working Rubik's Cube carved out of carrots. Now that's pretty much all I've got to say about the puzzle, but I can already imagine that at least one person in the comments is going to point out that I'm wasting food here. I hope this picture is enough to ensure you that I am not. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe. See you in my next video.